Previously on Fear the Walking Dead. Is she dead? Is she alive? Is she having sex with Troy? I am not the man I used to be, June. I am not the man I used to be. Oh my god, can we just please take a second to talk about how freaking annoying this kid is, right? He flips a freaking gun on Daniel. There is something fundamentally wrong with you, Daniel. I'm like, oh my god, I'm cringing inside. How about thank you that I even joined you on this trip? <laughs> like, seriously. Like, to go find your dead freaking boneless freaking daughter out here. You know, you're waiting for this big battle, right? Like, the, the action is finally about to happen. And then what happens? We skip over the battle, Madison and them get back, and it's like, Madison, I lost all my men. It's like, Luciana, what the frick did you do? <laughs> like, seriously. There are dozens of people that Alicia saved over time. Do we get to see this? No, we don't, because the actress hates this show and they never show anything anyway. Man, what in the fuck is wrong with this series? I'd do it all again. All of it, Madison. And Ian and Andrew would, you know they would, because they don't understand, and they don't see things. It's just a drug. <laughs> I don't. Let's do that again! Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead, and in today's video, we're going to be doing our weekly review for this week's episode of Season 8, the final season of Fear of the Walking Dead. This is a part one of two of the double series finale. This is the technically the penultimate, which is titled Fighting Like You. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for Fear the Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing part one of two of the double series finale reviews for Fear the Walking Dead. Make sure to stay tuned for the episode 12 review coming up very soon after this, um, where we discuss a lot of major stuff that happened in episode 12. So we're going to discuss these episodes separately, as I promised I would do. We'll go through episode 11 in this video, and then we'll go through episode 12 in the next video. Now, um, full transparency here, I really actually kind of enjoyed Enjoyed episode 12. I thought episode 12 was pretty darn solid, to be honest. Um, although episode 11, on the other hand, <laughs> oh my god, this is one of the worst episodes ever. So it's like, it's such a mixed bag finale for me, right? Because this one, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I absolutely hate this episode with my very core. But episode 12 was, you know, pretty good, right? So it's, it's weird to me. It's the weirdest conclusion to a series I've ever seen. But let's get into this episode, then we'll talk about episode 12. So, all right, this episode, in a nutshell of what I should say about it to begin, it is the conclusion of Troy Otto, or at least the proper conclusion of Troy Otto. And I don't even know where to begin, honestly. This whole episode is about redeeming a character that dies at the last minute. That is literally what this episode's about. You spend the whole episode feeling bad for Troy, redeeming him. Oh, maybe he's, you know, finding a new path to life. Maybe he's going to be able to live happily ever after with his daughter. Maybe Madison is going to give him the second chance that Strand got the second chance of. And, you know, all these other people got a second chance. So maybe Troy is going to get a second chance as well. Stupid writing, of course. But still, it looked like he was going to get a second chance, you know. And... Just for her at the end of the episode to kill him, man. I mean, seriously. And she actually does it this time, guys. That's right. Troy Otto is dead and for good this time. I Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Like, seriously, what was even the point? Well, actually, I'll tell you what the point was. It was for views. That's 100% what this was. Because even in this episode, we have the return of Crane, which is the most random thing I've ever seen. Where basically he's going after Troy and Madison throughout this whole episode just because. Just because, you know, June spared his life and now he's angry because of the death of his sister. So now he wants Madison dead. And then he dies too by a swarm of walkers. I mean, it's absolutely stupid. So I guess to summarize this episode, this is not going to be a lengthy review because there's not much going on here. Literally, like this is all about closing Troy Otto's character. And I can't even fathom how they did it. You basically start with Troy. He's leading a pack of the dead of, you know, uh, of zombies to Padre, right? And, you know, he's leading it with his vehicle and stuff like that. You've got him and Tracy there in the vehicle and stuff. And he just finds her randomly. We don't even see that. Uh, he just randomly finds her. And basically, we have them. They get set into a trap where basically their truck flips over. And Troy is badly injured. You get like this, you know, big stick or whatever that's like stuck inside of him. And he's impaled. He's not doing good. Tracy then runs for help. So where does she go to? She goes to find Madison, right? And then Madison's like, okay, well, why would I ever help your father? And she's like, 
Well, because, you know, you will. <laughs> you know? And so Madison goes to find Troy in the wreck, and then them two have a conversation. And, you know, we get some dialogue between Troy and Madison, which I think is so freaking dumb. Um, we find out that apparently this entire time, Tracy is apparently not um, Troy's kid. Apparently that was a lie the entire time. Troy was lying his ass off. Apparently this kid belongs to Alicia. Apparently Alicia is Tracy's mother. That's what they tell you in this episode, at least. Stay tuned for our episode 12 review, but that's what they tell you in this episode. I'm not even going to argue it because, you know, if you haven't seen episode 12, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, there's not even a point to even argue this, to be honest. Like, there you go. That's what Troy says. Yeah, apparently, apparently Alicia's the mother. Uh, apparently that's what it is. And apparently Alicia was very close to this Sabrina chick or whatever, uh, Troy's wife. And you get a little bit of like, you know, some knowledge. One of the things we do find out is that apparently Troy was pissed at Alicia because of the ideology of no one's gone until they're gone. Apparently got his wife killed. So then he got mad and took his anger out on Alicia. And apparently he made, like he stabbed Alicia. He made her bleed out pretty good. But apparently she was laying down on like this like mattress or something based off the dialogue. Again, it was hard for me to pay attention. I'm not going to lie to you. The writing is so bad. But from what I gather, you know, she was laying on this mattress bleeding out, right? And then apparently when they got back, it was covered in blood and Alicia was gone. So they assumed that she died, turned, and then stumbled off, you know? And that's apparently how he got her, her hand, right? Is during the fight. So, okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, there you go. And then Troy and Madison, for some reason, decide that they're going to work together. You've got Victor and them that are on their tail the whole episode. They're trying to get the walkers away from Padre. They're trying to stop um, Troy's right-hand man, right? And Russell, right? And, uh, you know, you get a few scenes like that where Dove's, like, leading them away with the rest of the pack. It's pretty badass. I'll give them that. It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, you know, for the most part, it's just all about Troy. And Crane shows up. He's, like, the main antagonist of this episode. He shows up with a bunch of random guards who just die instantly. And you've got Daniel that's pissed off because he wants Troy Otto dead. But Madison has to keep Troy alive because Crane's coming after them. And then you get this scene where Madison and, you know, Troy go on this, like, bridge, right? And Crane cuts the bridge, and then they fall into the swamp, right? And you get Madison and Troy that are just sitting there in the swamp, like, ready to just die as the water goes up to their necks. And you've got Crane that's standing there, and he's like, Yeah, you know why I saved you at the stadium, Madison? Well, it's because you were inside a tanker or whatever. And then you get this, like, stupid, like, archive footage of, like, Madison. She's got, like, her hands up, like... Oh, you know, it's so freaking stupid, man. And, you know, you just get like that. And by the way, guys, yes, that is all you get. If you want to know the brilliant flashbacks that we are shown of how Madison survives the stadium, the thing that Ian and Andrew promised that we would get the whole season, there you go. You got a quick clip of Madison being like, oh, you know, like that's it. That's all you freaking get because that's all these stupid writers do. I mean, seriously. And anyway, basically, the episode comes to an end. They all forgive Troy for some reason. And, uh, you know, Madison walks up to him and she's going to have a chill conversation with him. And what does she do? Oh yeah, by the way, she just stabs him right in the gut. Yup. Uh, blood starts pouring out of Troy's mouth. Troy falls to the ground, then reveals, oh yeah, yeah. Alicia's the mother. Yeah. Alicia's the mother. I'm like, what the frig ever? Like, honestly, if I couldn't hate Madison more, there you go. You know, why people support this character, I'll never understand. Like, honestly, I'll never understand. Look, I agree. Troy Otto does a lot of really crummy things. But you know why he did all those crummy things? Because she bashed him in the head the first time with the hammer. Like, he wouldn't have killed Alicia if Madison just chilled out in season three. You resurrect this character. You bring him back for a few episodes. Half the time, he's worried about his stupid daughter who can barely act, might I add. And then he just dies. He just gets stabbed. He dies. That's it. And then as soon as he, you know, tells Madison that Alicia is the mother of Tracy, Madison's like, no, you know, like, I didn't you just kill him? Like, what are you regretting about? Like, like, oh, the writing. Oh my God, the freaking writing. I'm so glad this show is over. I mean, did I say that already? I'm so glad this show is over. Seriously. Um, and there you go, guys. Troy Otto is killed again by Madison. That's right. Madison kills him again. Wow, this sucked. This was a terrible penultimate. I'm going to give this a 1 out of 10. You call me overly negative all you want. That is a terrible penultimate. That was absolutely terrible. They're lucky that they stepped up their game a little bit at least in episode 12 because that was absolute BS. 
So let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this episode. We'll be back for the finale review very soon. But if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for the Walking Dead universe. Be sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos or fear of The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.